Take a look at these thumbnails. Pretty cool, right? Believe it or not, all of them were made using AI. And the best part? I didn't spend a single cent on expensive tools or waste time manually adding text. Everything was done with just a few clicks. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I made them. Alright, let's start with the first method, making thumbnails using OpenAI's Sora. You can find Sora right in the sidebar of ChatGPT, but if you don't see it there, no problem, I've dropped the direct link in the description below so you can access it easily. Now while Sora isn't completely unlimited, you can still use it a few times a day. Officially, it says free users can generate up to 3 images per day, but in my experience, I've been able to generate even more than that, so definitely give it a try and see what works for you. There is one small limitation though. Sora doesn't currently let you choose a 169 aspect ratio, which is the ideal size for YouTube thumbnails. Instead, it uses a 32 aspect ratio by default. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly how to fix that so your thumbnails look perfect. So the first thumbnail I wanted to create is this one. A funny scene where it looks like I'm running away from Bigfoot, kind of like a selfie cam moment during a panic. It's a silly idea, but it grabs attention, and that's exactly what thumbnails are meant to do. The first thing I did was click on this little plus icon to upload an image. You can use any photo of a character you want to include in the thumbnail. This image will help Sora generate results that actually include your character in the final thumbnail. For the prompt, I used a specific description to tell the AI exactly what I wanted. It says, make a thumbnail of Bigfoot chasing down this girl in a forest. Selfie camera POV from the girl, make her look like she realizes that she screwed up while running away. Do not make severe changes that make the face of the girl unrecognizable from original image. Put highlighted bold words saying AI vlog in a suitable position with standout and matching colors. Also add a curved arrow pointed toward the scene from the word. Once you've entered your prompt, just click the remix button and within a few minutes you'll get your results. Here's what I got with my first try. Overall, it matched my description really well. Sora did a great job capturing the scene I had in mind, but I felt like it could be even better. So I decided to regenerate it. To do that, just click on the prompt again. You can either tweak the text or leave it as it is. In my case, I just hit remix one more time without changing anything. Now you can see it generated two more images for me. Out of the options, I think this one looks the best, so I'm going with it. Next, let's fix the aspect ratio so it fits perfectly as a YouTube thumbnail. To download your image, just click this button, then head over to Canva. Once you're in Canva, search for YouTube thumbnail and open a blank canvas. Now just drag and drop your image onto the canvas. Adjust its position to fit nicely, and that's it. Without spending any money or doing any complicated editing, we've got ourselves a clean, professional-looking thumbnail ready to grab attention. For the next thumbnail, I wanted to go for that classic Mr. B style look, something dramatic and over the top. I specifically chose a thumbnail where Mr. Beast is being chased by a shark, but this time I wanted to replace Mr. Beast with my own image. So here's what I did. First, I uploaded the Mr. Beast thumbnail as a reference. Then I uploaded the same image of myself that I used earlier. Next, I use this prompt, replace the man in this image with the woman I uploaded. Make sure she has similar emotions and details as the original character. Then I click the remix button, and after a short wait, Sora generated the result. And honestly, it's really impressive. The emotions, the pose, the scene, it all stayed consistent, and my image was blended in perfectly. For the third thumbnail, I wanted to create something that's more connected to my channel's theme. So I decided to make this thumbnail right here. First, I uploaded a dark background with some clean white lines. It gives that modern techie look I like. Then I uploaded an image of myself that I want to include in the scene. After that, I used this prompt to guide the AI. It says, use the dark background I provided. Put this girl in the middle. Don't change her face. Make her arms stretched a little bit. On one of her hands, place a glowing chat GPT logo. And on on other hand, place a glowing YouTube logo in the above and behind the girl write, make money with AI in bold glowing font with appropriate size. 
Once you've entered your prompt, go ahead and click the remix button. Now sometimes the images might not generate and you'll see an error message like this. Sora can be pretty strict when it comes to generating content. It might reject the prompt if your uploaded image isn't considered decent enough or if the prompt itself is too unclear or triggering certain restrictions. In my case, I think it was my image, but it could have been the prompt too. Either way, I decided to just reuse the previous image and hit remix again. This time it worked, but there was a small issue. The hands looked a bit off and weren't positioned the way I wanted, so I re-uploaded the image and updated the prompt to ask the AI to fix the hands and make them look like they're holding logos. Here's the final version, and honestly, it looks amazing. I could totally use this as a thumbnail for one of my actual videos. For the next thumbnail, I wanted to create something you've probably seen all over YouTube, especially on channels about passive income or side hustles. I'm going for that classic reaction style thumbnail, so I uploaded the same image of myself as before. Here is the prompt I used. The upper body of the woman is visible, and she looks shocked while pointing at a YouTube analytics page for a new channel. Add the text monetize in 30 days in bold. Eye-catching fonts with professional effects. Style it like a passive income or side hustle YouTube thumbnail. Now you could upload a real screenshot of your YouTube analytics page to make it more authentic, but in this case, I'm letting Sora generate a version for me, just to show you how far you can go with AI alone. So here's the result I got, and honestly, it looks pretty impressive. The layout, the expression, and the overall style really match that viral YouTube look. The numbers on the analytics page are a bit off and kind of funny, but that's not a big deal. You can easily fix those later. So yeah, as you can see, I've already generated more than three images, which shows that Sora does allow a bit of flexibility sometimes, but just in case you hit the limit or run out of generations for the day, don't worry, I've got another free tool you can use to create thumbnails. It's called Google Whisk and it's a great option, especially if you're aiming for a 3D or 2D animated style. Whether you want something cartoonish, stylized, or visually fun, Whisk can help you create some really eye-catching thumbnails without needing any design skills. Alright, let's jump into the first example using Google Whisk. For this one, I want to create a thumbnail that shows these two characters in an epic fight scene. Start by clicking this small arrow to expand the editing tab. Under the subject section, click upload image and select your first character. Then click the plus icon to add another subject and upload your second character. For the prompt, I use this. Epic fight between the two characters in a vibrant city center at night. 3D movie style. Add the words text to video with neon effects in big letters. Place the text behind the characters but make sure it's still easy to read. Next, make sure to set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 since that's the ideal size for YouTube thumbnails. Once that's selected, click the arrow button to start generating. The tool will create two images. You can click the refine option to upscale the image and enhance the quality before downloading. And just like that, you've got a sharp, professional looking thumbnail ready to use. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or requests, please leave them in the comments and I'll see you on next video.